this go away from me. Father, you can't just sit there and let this happen to me. This was not my agreement with you. Father, why have you forsaken me? Why, God? Darling, let's go. We can't keep the pastor waiting. I can't, Mom. I can't. You can't or you won't. Both, Mom. I can't. And I won't. I won't go through with it. Sophia. I thought we have gone through all this before. I know, Mommy, but I've thought about it. It just doesn't seem right. It doesn't. My dear, I know how you feel. No, you don't. There's nothing we can do to help your father now. But, Mommy, why do I have to be used as a sacrificial lamb? Isn't there any other alternative? You know, if there were, you won't be going through all this. But, Mommy, I don't love him. I don't have a dot of feeling for him. Sophia, I know how you are feeling. My dear, with time, it will grow. I assure you this. When you get married, everything will fall into place. Mommy, why, why are you guys doing this to me? Sophia. Why are you doing this to me? Your father and I have given our words. You can't disappoint us at the 10th hour. I'm tempted to do so. Don't you ever dream of it. Don't you at all. Think about your father's health. Are you travel tomorrow? No. The flight has been booked. Wouldn't that wear my daughter down? Of course not. Trust me. Every basic comfort has been provided for. Daddy, please take care of yourself. I would. Remember to take your drugs. I would. Everything will be fine. Thanks to Darlington. So, Stuart, shall we? Take care of yourself. I will, my dear. Take care of Daddy for me. I will. I'm very proud of you. I know everything will work out fine. Daddy, take care of yourself. Life is what you make it. It's all about
Well, we haven't seen you. Yeah, you know how it is. I've been quite busy. Oh, yes. It's a lie. Sophia, Stella. Do you know each other? Yes, we were classmates in school. Really? So, how are you? I'm fine. And you? Well, I'm at school as a morning breeze. So, what are you doing here? Uh, do you work here? Oh, yes, I do. It's a beautiful place. Thank you. Beautiful. Wait until you see the room. Is my room ready? Oh, yes, sir. All dressed and waiting for you. Life is what you make it. It's all about the choices. Things we say, things we do. Places we decide to go. of a talker. That's good. I like women who talk little and listen much. They tend to make better partners and advisors. Business or marriage? Both. Really? Yes. And to crown it all, I have a very beautiful one for the wife. Thank you. Yes. You look very tired. Why don't you go and take a shower and have some rest? Tell them to deliver the consignments. Look, deal with them yourself. I told you I don't want to be disturbed. It's my honeymoon. All right. I'll call them tomorrow. Maybe 
something I ate. I think I'm going to throw up. Oh. Better now. Mm -hmm. Okay, come. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give you a warm hug. I think it's jet lag. Where are you going? I think I'm going to throw up. But you were at peace all through the night. That's because I was sleeping. I don't know, each time I open my eyes, I, I just feel, you know, nausea. Well, is it because of me? Oh, darling, how can you say that? I don't know. This nausea thing tends to come up each time I try to touch you. I'm going to serve the floor. Darlington. Up there, busy as usual. Mm. Come, Sophia, you still haven't told me what you're doing with Mr. Darlington. When you have fine rich guys there who would do anything for such a beautiful girl it's like It's a you. long story. Mm. No one I would want to talk about in a hurry. You see? Um, you see what I mean? You never get around to gisting me. That's because you're always too busy. Mm, okay. I'm not busy again, uh, so no, shoot on. No, 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 not, not now. I'm hungry. I need to get something to eat. You see what I mean? Later. It's all about the choices. This we say.
find something else to do with that time? I know what to do with our time. But right now, I am very busy. I'm bored. That is because you don't seem to want to accept the fact that I am your husband. And we are on our honeymoon. I'm sorry about last night. I, I don't know why this sickness always comes up in the night. Well, I think you're nervous. Can I ask you something? Yes. Are you a virgin? Why do you ask? From the way you act. Each time I touch you, you end up in the toilet. And from your naive reply, when I wanted to make love to you yesterday. Have I disappointed you? On the contrary. I'm delighted to know that I'm married to a rare pal. I'm sorry if I haven't lived up to his expectations. That's all right. One thing I promise you is I won't harass you. I guess I need time to get used to the fact that I'm married. Take your time. like somebody I know from back home in Abba. Mm, I see. Now, shoot. What are you doing with Mr. Darlington? I won't let you go this time around. Only if you promise me you're not going to scream. Cross my heart and hope to die. Okay. He's my husband. Watch it. I think I agree with you. Smoky. Is she alone? I can't tell, but she's always alone. Who's the juice for? She ordered for it. What a gift. Is she you? Yes, now I'm helping you, my friend. Okay. But don't go getting ideas. She's not your type. Okay? Hey, you're not hurting the soul by trying, eh? Come on. I know. Okay. Besides, love is a funny game. Bad boy. Okay. <laughs> Don't tear. Bad boy.
lovely place. It's very beautiful and peaceful out here. Yes, um, so is this your first time here? Yeah, I never knew such a lovely place existed in this country. Mm -hmm. Yes, it, it springs surprises at you, you know? It's, yeah. That's what life is all about. Um, it's very peaceful, very calm. I couldn't agree with you more. So, um, what's your name? My name is Sophia. What's yours? I'm Andrew. Well, my friends call me Andy and I, I don't particularly like it. <laughs> I like Andrew. It's a nice name. I like Sophia. It um, suits you. Thanks. Please share with me. I'm sorry, I couldn't possibly do that. I ah, know. That's why I'll take offense. You know my name, I know your name. We're now friends, aren't we? Uh huh. Yeah, well, well, if you put it that way, um, I guess I can't say no. Okay. Um, let, let me get the glass. Well, you don't have to, you can use mine. Please. Thank you. So, um, what's an angel like you doing here? I'm on holiday. Well, one would have expected somebody like you to go to somewhere like the Caribbean, the US, London. Caribbeans or US? Are you kidding? Caribbeans or US couldn't be more beautiful. Really, it's time we start appreciating what we have back in Nigeria. That's true. I need a tour of this place to go around. What you need is an escort. Uh, escort? Uh, I don't think that's such a great idea. No, 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 no bother. See, I, I can make myself available. I um, I won't charge extra for it. Okay. I will take you to the waterfall from there. You can go see the horse table. It's you see, okay, built. Okay, okay, okay. You win. I'll, I'll try and squeeze out some time. Okay, how about four o'clock? Yeah. Four o'clock. I'm game. Life is what you make it. It's all about justice. Things we say, things we do. Places we decide to go. Don't forget about my dad. I won't. Be a nice girl. Coming. 
So, um, how do you do? I'm fine. I'll see you around. I came to see if you're ready so we can go out. Come on. I don't think that's such a good idea. Were you afraid of me? What? Of course not. I can tell. <laughs> You're so sure of yourself. If you're not afraid of me, why don't you want to go out with me? Can't a girl just say no? Mm, well, I just wanted to see if you follow me to the to show you the um, horse ranch. Horses. And maybe you can Horses. take a ride. I'll also show you the polo club. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, you want to come? You can bet your life on it. Mm. Well, you can come if you're sure you survive my charms. Mm -hmm. Just give me a second. <laughs> Is here. Darling, the drink is here. Well, it's not cold. It's better when it's cold. Okay. I think I better put it on for today. Oh, wow. Hey, Oh no, I won't be needing one. I'm not going to. 
not alright. But be careful. No kiss for your darling husband. So beautiful. It's all about the justice. No, you remind me of the picture of the um, sea goddess. I often see, um, you know, I hear about in fairy tales. <laughs> what a goddess! Oh no, that's too much. Those are goddesses. I'm just human. But I think you're more beautiful. I shouldn't have done that. I've wanted to do that since the first time I met you. I think you're taking advantage of me. Oh, come on, stop overreacting. It's just a kiss. Just a kiss? I knew it. I shouldn't have come out here with you. But you didn't try to stop me when I kissed you now, did you? Can we go back to the hotel? You have lost our way. I'm sorry, I got carried away with the beauty of the place and I lost track of time and I didn't wear my watch. Good. I'm glad you had a nice time. It will help you relax your mind. Uh, boy, am I tired. Uh, take this. I mean, what is the matter with you? Nothing. Don't tell me nothing, Andy. I know something is wrong. I know that face when I see it. So, spread it out. I'm your friend. Sophia, how can she leave this hotel without so much as a word? Not even goodbye. Who? Sophie, of course. She won't pick my calls. And then when I went to check up in my room, I found somebody else there. She checked out. Is that what is eating you up? Anyway, she's around. I saw her this morning. No kidding. I'm serious. How come I've not seen her around? Maybe they have changed room. Yeah. She and her father came here to buy something yesterday. And probably they have changed room. Are you surprised? Games. I thought I made myself perfectly clear. Well, I think you're being a coward. Coward? Look, Andrew, nothing, absolutely nothing will come out of this. Okay, give me one good reason. Because... Because of your father. I told you about my father. I know he's here, but you don't have to worry about him. But I'm always good somewhere. He doesn't have to know. Andrew. I don't tread on dangerous grounds. Can't deny what you feel, you know. How long can you hold out?
you again. Yes, it's me. And um, I'll continue to be the leech in your life until you're mine. Please get out. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to be in your life forever. How do I get it through your thick skull? You're asking for the impossible. Am I? What is the problem? Is it my background? You don't strike me as that kind of girl anyway. Oh, please. Tell please. Why don't you give me a chance? I might be poor, but I'm very rich here. And that's what counts. Andrew, you are not making this easy for me. Well, nobody said love was easy. I say love is easy. Listen, um, if you let me walk out of here, I'll never bother you again for the rest of my life. Didn't keep your promise. What promise? You said you were going to come back. I said I might come back. What's your name anyway? Gladys and yours? I'm Andrew. Right, I'm the boy. I didn't know about you. But I need a guy to keep me warm. That's nice. Well, you see, I like to pick my own women. Interesting. That makes two of us. I like to pick my men too. And I like um, a woman that can speak her mind on anything she desires. I like that. But my heart 
to get you out of my mind. It's so confusing and it's wrong with me. Sophie, what did you do to me? I have already said I do. But when I met you and fell in love, you stole my heart away. with all their heart and believe it, they would. What is troubling you? I can't tell. Try me. You won't understand. Look, I believe a problem shared is a problem solved. When I saw you with her, I, I, I thought I was going to die of jealousy. I just couldn't handle it. Me, mad man. I did it to make you jealous. You ignored me. Well, did you sleep with her? Are you trying to tell me something? Andrew, I think I'm in love with you. I fell in love with you when I saw you at the, at the pool. First time. But why didn't you tell me earlier? What were you fronting? See, let's work out something. Why don't you let me see your father? Uh, uh, I'm sure he's a good judge of character. I'm not just an ordinary cleaner. See, I lost my father at an early age, and I didn't want to impose on my mother, so I. I had to take a job here to pay myself through school. I've just written my project. I'm almost been graduated. Andrew, your financial status is, is of no importance to me. It doesn't matter. Okay, so what is the problem? Do you have another man? Andrew, there's something about me that you have to know.
I love you. I love you too. Very much. Would you like something to drink? Um, the usual, right? The usual. The usual. <laughs> <laughs> One cold glass of juice. But there's a problem that I face. My body is given to another. But my heart belongs to you. This is not ordinary orange juice. It's got tomato in it. It's a special. Yeah, two tones. Yeah, two tones. <laughs> beautiful lady. Now, so what am I going to get all this lady? I'm a kiss. Well. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> about the type of men he employs. I'm really sorry, sir. There's some misunderstanding here. I, I spilled a little juice on her and I'm, I'm trying to clean it up. Yes, I, I actually, he actually... Yeah. And allowed him pour at your breasts! For what it's worth, I'm sorry. Sorry, madam. Reducing him, a doubt, a cleaner. Oh, how low can you get? Oh, I will make sure that boy is dismissed. Oh, Talenton, please, you'll be going too far, please. Oh, yes, I damn well will. You have given me every reason to. You don't want me to touch you, and you allow that doubt touch you in public. I'll make it up to you when you come back. Okay. I'm almost tempted to call off this appointment. I'll see you when I'm through. I want to explain. Look, there's nothing to explain. Leave me alone. Okay? Go back to your husband and play. Stay with him and a reason 
to be with you. Today? Um, no, I don't think he has come to work today. Um, does he live around? Do you know where he lives? <laughs> no. Why? Uh, nothing. I I lost the necklace and uh, the barman said he saw him with something like that. So. Okay. Why don't you ask him? I think he's in a better position to give you his home address. Yes. But why don't you wait till he comes to work? You don't have to go to his house. I really need to use it. Okay. I'll just ask him. Okay. A reason to be with you. happening between those two because if Mr. Dalitin finds out eh, that would be a real problem. Adagi, eh, what will he do? He should know that his daughter is no more a little child for crying out loud. She is a grown up. What did he say? Eh, no. That is his wife and not his daughter. What? Uh -huh. I don't know anything about it. I don't want to lose my job. Mm, but you gave her his address. So? 
has nothing to explain. I'm making a fool of me. It's not what it seems. So what did he seem like? Now the man you called your father actually told out to be your husband. Who's lying, him or you? The order you got spilling out doing was just for you to take back to the room and laugh. I'm just stopping, you're hurting me. You know what I'd like to do? I'd like to bring your neck, that's hurting me. Tell me all that crap. You just made somebody you string along. So wait, all the kisses mean nothing to you? You believe the world to me. And I know you won't believe me, but... I've never been in love with anyone before. Then why him? Why old man? If he was young, I would understand. Maybe if you shut up and listen to me, you'd understand. I met I met Daddy to my husband about a month ago. And you couldn't wait to drag him to the altar, right? I didn't want to marry him. But my father was very sick. When I went to him, it's my father's friend, so when I went to him to help him, he gave me a condition. And to marry him. I just have a couple of weeks in school. Andrew, it's not that simple. It's simple. Just annul the marriage and, and then come with me. We'll go somewhere safe, some African country. We might degree, we can start a job somewhere. Everything is going to work out. Then we'll come back later. I can't just live like that. I need time to think. I don't have much time, babe. The sooner we can take a decision now, the better we can start working towards it. Give me some more time to think about it. Please. There is one question there I ask. Why does love have to hurt so much? I have a reason to stay with him. And a reason to be with you.
I turned my back to some ass. You already have a lover to take my place. I, I wasn't expecting you to say that. I can expose Save your breath. Because she is my wife. You have sticky fingers on him. Give me out to some crazy here. What would you do? Listen, young man. If I see you near my wife again, I will break every little bone in your body and incapacitate you for life. You must have bombed you. That's not true. That's what you mean. Swear. Swear if you know you are going to stop me. I, I, I... Oh my God. Sophia. You mean you did? You did, Sophia? Why? Why, Sophia? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Any word of sorry from you. Again. Look, I won't be held responsible for whatever I might do to you. And as for that boy, I will make sure you pay for it. You disgust me. But my heart belongs to you It's so confusing and it troubles my mind Cause I have already said I do But when I met you and fell in love You stole my heart away Don't you think you've had enough? I need to forget. Just give me two more shots. No. Perhaps if you talk about it, that will help solve a lot of problems. I'm over you now. What happened? We we'll got back from the picnic and your husband walked in on us, holding hands. All hell broke loose. Somehow, in the middle of the home madness, I assured him, I warned him never to torture or come after him. I mean, you are wrong, Andy, you are wrong. Sophia is his wife and not yours. At least you should have allowed him to go with his wife. You are lucky that the man didn't put God at you. I was going to see him and let him do things to work. To find a way to get out of that madness she's involved in. You should worry about yourself, not Sophia. Is she ready to suffer with you? I don't care about that. I just want to suffer. If you know what is good for you, bro, better drop out of sight. Don't stop behaving like this. This is Charlie. Okay, I'm sorry. For whatever it is, I'm sorry. But come on now, it's not easy for a man to come and apologize to somebody and I, he didn't even know what he did. Look, I want us to be friends. Huh? I want you to still do me favors. All I want is for you to check up on Sophie and see if she's alright. 
after the yesterday incident, I've not seen her since then. I just want to see if she's all right. Please, just let me check her call. <laughs> okay, check from here if you use the interval. So it's good to be in control, right? <laughs> Coming from? Does it matter? Look, I'm sorry about what happened. Keep your apology to yourself. I don't need it. I. I. Can we talk? Oh, yes. This relationship, this this marriage is not working. I want us to annul it. I see. Who is responsible for this decision? That young man. Answer me. We both made a mistake. I really shouldn't have married you. And your father? What happens to him? I will explain to my father. Oh, that you let him die out of your self-interest? Or have you thought about how it would affect him? You father? forced me to marry you. I didn't lead you to the altar with a piece of rope around your neck. I beg to differ. But you did say you weren't going to help me unless I marry you. I kept my word. You, to think that I thought you would grow to love me. I like you in my own way, but please, it's, it's just not working. Please, just let me go, please. Never. when I want something dearly, like now. Let go of this matter, please. No. Please. I want to deal with that idiot. Nobody takes what is mine. Nobody. Well, have you thought about what this would do to your reputation? Listen, I'm a public person. People have said worse things, so it means nothing. It's your reputation you should worry about. You can't nail a charge on Andy. He's not to blame. Who then? I know you did not go out with him out of your free will. I also know that you are talking under the influence of some charm. I can't believe you go this far. This is just the beginning. I intend to win that boy for life. No. How do you think you will feel about that? Isn't Shut up! Why didn't you do think about my feelings? You just went ahead and disgraced me. Thank you. 
determined to give you hell. Please, Darlington, please. Please, just... I won't leave you. I won't leave you. Please, just... On one condition that you will let Andrew go. Please, forget about the matter. I beg you. I promise I won't see him again. sound overly spiritual this evening but I would like to start by quoting the scripture which says that marriage is honorable in all and the bed undefiled but whoremongers and adulterers God will judge I think the primary reason why many people commit adultery is because they don't have the fear of God first of all the foundation of every marriage has to be right now there are so many reasons why people commit adultery one it could be frustration maybe a bad relationship with a spouse Two, it could be poverty. There's so much poverty in our system today. And a lot of people, both men and women, are compromising because of money. Thirdly, it could be because, um, you know, people are desperate for a spouse. And I believe if we realize that marriage is a covenant relationship, it involves God and your spouse, not just you. So even if... So even if it's not about your spouse, really, or am I going to hurt her or not? But first of all, you are accountable to God in whatever you do. So when you have that fear of God, realizing as a Christian, especially men, well, and Christian women too, because it's happening now, if you realize that this is a sin, it is something that can send you to hellfire. Don't joke with it. Don't play with it and think you can confess. Yes, you can. But there's a penalty. There's a price to pay for every sin. So basically, I think our foundation has to be right. As people of God, and then... You know, realizing that you're accountable to God, flee anything that's going to make you, you know, lose your salvation. Don't compromise it. Praise the Lord. Have mercy on me, O oh God. According to your loving kindness. Unto thee and thee alone have I seen and done that which is evil in thy sight. Touch me with high soap, and I shall be clean. Wash me with the blood of Jesus Christ, and I shall be whiter than snow. Father, fill me with genuine love for my husband. And I promise. I'll be a good wife, and I'll never be unfaithful to him again. In Jesus' name, amen. Life is what you make it. It's all about justice. Things we say. Yes. Should be living now. Uh, when shall we see you again? As soon as the need arises. Um, I got a message from my secretary that you were upset about something and wanted to see me. Well, well, it's nothing. I have to care of the situation. Okay then. Bye, madam. Thank you. Thank you. I hope to see you again. Yeah. Um, possibly with our keys. So you can. <laughs> Life is what you make it. It's all about the justice. Things we say. Thanks, man. Some of these customers want you to give them the details of all they got. Okay. I find it comforting to be out here anyway. Tired of being out in the sun. <laughs> yeah, I, I your lady friend and her husband. They've checked out. Yeah. Sophia. Yes. 
checked out. I saw them at the reception mm -hmm. with their luggage. I'm sure they've checked out. You sure? Mm -hmm. Andy. Andy. saying goodbye. I have thought about your proposition to me, and I say no, though it's tempting. I can't leave my responsibility to the people most dear to me. I go on to face life's challenges with my husband. I owe him so much, and most importantly, I owe him my fidelity. Maybe someday we'll meet again to part no more. If it's the will of God, I love you always, Sophia. Say 